not saying that. I just don't know if I believe in women's sports. Gene, why are you actually talking about women's sports? Like there's a mystical quality into it. Okay, let me rephrase. I think women's sports are inherently unfair and disempowering to women as a whole. Gene, you literally told me abortion is evil. What I believe on a personal level is different than what I believe on a societal level. And so in a personal level, you don't think women's sports should exist? On a societal level. Elaborate, please. I love when you critically thinking. Now, it's a lot of probability and a little bit of calculus. Of course. Well, let me just bear with me here, okay? Mm -hmm. So just take the MMA, for example. A championship fight. Now, one girl is on her period. The other one's ovulating like a hen. Oh, I mean, she's Gene, and... Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, boy. Sometimes letting you rumble, it feels like the trolley problem in a flash. So you don't think women should have organized sports because of their natural bodily functions? Let me, let me finish, okay? I just think we should only allow women who regulate their hormones and periods with things like birth control or whatever, so we can plan and, and predict when women are on their cycles. And you wanted to do this with the team too? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, if we make sure the women are lodged in the same building, They'll, they'll all just sync up, you know, like Bluetooth, right? Oh, duh. It's like you being able to treat the team as a just one big period. Yeah, fucking exactly right. You get this shit. Yes. I just don't know if I believe in women's sports. Gene, why are you actually talking about women's sports? Like there is a mystical quality into it. Okay, let me rephrase. I think women's sports are inherently unfair and disempowering to women as a whole. Gene, you literally told me abortion is evil. Yeah, what I believe on a personal level is different than what I believe on a societal level. And then on a personal level, you don't think women's sports should exist? On a societal level. Elaborate, please. I love when you're critically thinking. It's a lot of probability and a little bit of calculus. Oh, of course. So, bear with me here. Mm -hmm. So, like, take the MMA, for example. Championship fight. Now, one girl is on her period, the other one's ovulating like a hen. I'm oh, gee, Jesus it. Christ. Oh, boy. Sometimes letting you rumble feels like the trolley problem in the flesh. So, you don't think women should have organized sports because of their bodily, natural bodily functions? You didn't let me finish. Look, I just think we should only allow women who regulate their hormones and periods with, like, birth control and stuff so we can plan for and predict when women are going to be on their cycles. And you want to do this with the team, too? Yeah. I mean, I mean, if we make sure the women are lodged in the same building, they'll just sync up, like, Bluetooth, won't they? Oh, duh! It's like you're back to being able to treat the team as just one big period. Yeah, fucking exactly. You get this shit. I just don't know if I believe in women's sports. Jean, why are you actually talking about women's sports like there's a, a mystical quality into it? Okay, let me rephrase. I think women's sports are inherently unfair and disempowering to women as a whole. Jean, you literally told me abortion is evil. What I believe on a personal level is different than what I believe on a societal level. And on a personal level, you don't think women's sports should exist? On a societal level. Elaborate, please. I love when you're critically thinking. It's a lot of probability and a little bit of calculus. Oh, of course. So bear with me here. So take like the MMA, for example, a championship fight. One girl's on her period, the other one's ovulating like a hen. I mean, she's... Oh, Jesus eggs. Christ, Jean! Sometimes letting you rumble feels like the trolley problem in the flesh. So you don't think women should have organized sports because of their natural bodily functions? You didn't let me finish, okay? I just think we, we should only allow women who regulate their hormones and periods, you know, with like birth control and stuff, so we can plan for and predict when, you know, women are going to be on their cycles. And you want to do this with the team, yeah, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if we can make sure the women are lodged in the same building, they'll, they'll just sync up like Bluetooth, won't they? Oh, duh! It's like you being able, 
it's like you being able to treat the team like a big, just one big, one period. Yeah, fucking exactly. Exactly. You get this shit. No. So, your mind is crazy. Don't get mad. Look, I'm just saying, I don't know if I believe in women's sports. Jean, what, how, why we are talking about women's sport like is a, there is a mystical quality into it? Okay, let me rephrase that. I, I think women's sports are inherently unfair and disempowering to women as a whole. Jean, you literally told me abortion is evil. No, what I believe on a personal level is different than what I believe on a societal level. On oh, a personal level, you don't think women's sports should exist? On a societal level. Elaborate, please. I love when you critically thinking. It's a lot of probability. And, mm -hmm. and of course, of course. You know, so bear with me here. Okay, let's so take like the MMA, for example. Championship fight. You know, one girl is on her period. The other one's ovulating like a hen. I mean, she's cranking out at Oh, it. Jesus Christ, Gene. Sometimes letting you rumble feels like the trolley problem is in the flesh. So you don't think women should have organized sports because of their natural bodily functions? Well, let, me, let me finish. I, I just think we should only allow women to regulate their hormones and periods with birth control and stuff. You know, that way we can plan for and predict when women are on their cycles. And you want to do this with the team too? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, if we make sure the women are lodged in the same building, they'll just all sync up like a Bluetooth, won't they? Oh, duh. It's like you being back, be able to treat the team as a big, just one big period. Fucking exactly. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You get this shit. Right. Oh, I just don't know if I believe in women's sports. Gene, why are you talking about women's sports like there's a mystical quality into it? Okay, okay, let me rephrase. I think women's sports are inherently unfair and disempowering to women as a whole. Gene, you literally told me abortion is evil. Well, what I believe on a personal level is different from what I believe on a societal level. And on a personal level, you don't think women's sports should exist? On a societal level. Elaborate, please. I love when you... Critically thinking. It's a lot of probability and a little bit of calculus. Oh, of course. No, just bear with me here. Uh -huh. um, so, like, take the MMA, for example. Championship fight, one girl is on a period, the other girl is ovulating like a hen. I'm oh, Gene, Jesus there. Christ. Oh, Sometimes letting you rumble feels like the trolley problem in the flesh. So you don't think women should have organized sports because of their natural bodily functions? Oh, you didn't Finish. I just think we should only allow women who regulate their hormones and periods with things like birth control and stuff like that so we can plan and predict when women are on their cycles. And you want to do this with the team? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, if we can make sure the women are lodged in the same building, they'll just sync up like Bluetooth, won't they? Oh, duh. It's like you being able to go back to the team has a just a big one period. Yeah, fucking exactly. Yeah, you get this shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hi, my name is Marie Paquim and my phone number is 310-527-1800. Cheers.